it is a difficult situation no matter which side of the ball you're on. We're here at Toyota Center. You can see there's always some folks playing basketball, but uh, pickup games are a lot easier than global politics. At a pickup game in the shadow of the Toyota Center, these guys aren't familiar with the latest Rockets tweet controversy, but they are definitely wary of the pitfalls of social media. Oh, this is a new day and age where the rate of change moves at an even faster pace. This technology will mess up what you say in one quick instance, so you got to be well aware, especially when you're in a position of power. For the Rockets, the tweet by its GM has yielded immediate financial fallout as the team's games are no longer being broadcast in China. Veteran pro sports public relations expert Kevin Cooper says the financial damage should be temporary. The Rockets are an excellent franchise. It's, it's one of the better sports brands in the world, and I think they'll be able to rebound. Um, I'm sure this probably isn't the first time that someone said anything. But what's less clear is the path ahead in public opinion. The NBA's response to Morey to distance itself while still attempting to sound supportive has drawn political backlash from both sides of the aisle. The implications are more complicated than most people would realize. He's a, a new lawyer now. Longtime friend of Yao Ming and local attorney Charles Foster says it's impossible to explain the complicated history of Chinese politics politics into a few tweets and quotes. He's urging all sides to tone down a bit. It was really is a minor deal that's been blown totally out of proportion. And fans we talk to are mostly hoping the Rockets win. I hope uh, it's no big deal. So I hope it eventually blows over and everything goes back to normal. Well, there's no such thing as normal right now. The fallout, frankly, not complete. Nobody knows exactly what will happen next. But for now, the Rockets games cannot be seen by those fans in China.